Hello friends. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will see how we can create an application load balancer. But in this video, we are not only going to create ALB in one way. So in this session first we will see how to create an ALB using our AWS console. Then we will create ALB again but using Terraform. So without any further ado let's get start the session. So first let's see what an application load balancer is. So the application load balancer is a feature of elastic load balancing that allows a developer to configure and route incoming end-user traffic to applications based in the AWS public cloud. ALB works on layer 7. Now in a cloud environment with multiple web services, load balancing is essential. By distributing network traffic and information flows across multiple servers, a load balancer ensures no single server bears too much demand. This improves application responsiveness and availability, enhances user experiences, and can protect from distributed denial of service DDoS attacks. So first let's see how to create the application load balancer in AWS console. Here as you can see, I am on my AWS console. So let's search for EC2 service. Click on it. Here just scroll down. And under the load balancing, here you can see load balancers. So just click on it and the load balancing screen will be open. So here to create a load balancer, click on create a load balancer. Here as you can see, we have four types of load balancers. Application load balancer, network load balancer, gateway load balancer, and the classic load balancer. So right now I am going to create the application load balancer. So let's click on the create. Once you click on the create, you has to give the name. So let's say, ALB, demo. Here we have two type of scheme. One is internet facing, and second one will the internal. So internet facing is like we can access this ALB using internet, and internal means, within your VPC you can going to be access. So we are going to be create the internet facing. Next one is IP address type. So we have two types, IPv4 and dual stack. Dual stack means it will comes with IPv6 also. But right now I am going to only use IPv4. Now in network mapping, we need to select availability zone, which means this application load balancer will going to serve the selected availability zone. So based on your region, it will gives you the availability zones. So here I am going to select all the availability zone. Now here, in the security group, I am going to select my default security group. Here in the listeners and routing section, the protocol is going to be HTTP, and 80 is the port number and then it will forward to the selected target group. So here you can select your existing target group, but here I am going to create a new one, so create a new one. In the target group name, let's say ALB, demo. Er case, it will be the instance, we are using an EC2 instance so that it is going to be. In the target group name, let's say ALB, demo. In the protocol version, HTTP1 is fine. Now when it is comes to health checks, it is going to use the HTTP slash root directory. Now click on advanced health check settings, these are very important. So here healthy threshold mean, it is going to check 5 times whether that instance is going to be healthy or not. So before sending a request to that server, the application load balancer will test 5 times whether instance is healthy or not. If it founds two times unhealthy then it is not going to send that request to that particular EC2 instance. The timeout is like, it should get a response back from that server within 5 seconds. An interval, this is the time it is going to wait form that particular request. So right now I am going to give 6. Always make sure that the interval should be greater than the timeout. Then the success code, so if you are using HTTP so you can use 200 as in success code so I am keeping as it is. Now register targets. So here we are going to see the EC2 instance which are available. If there are any EC2 instance available, we can select them and click on the add to register. Since there is no EC2 instance in my account, so it is not showing. So right now I am not going to add any sort of EC2 instance around. So now just click on create target group. So now here if I refresh this. As you can see, now it is showing me a target group. Now here we can review and confirm our configuration. So if any disturbance is found, you just go there and modify according to your needs. 
and then just click on create if you want to create load balancer. As you can see our load balancer is now successfully created. So guys, this is how we can create load balancer using AWS console. Now let's see, how to create load balancer using Terraform. So guys, here I am going to use the Visual Studio Code editor for this demo. And guys for this demo, our system must have Terraform, and Terraform CLI installed and set up. I have already set up my Terraform CLI in my system. So if you don't know how to install and set up Terraform in your system, don't worry I had already created a video on that topic, the link is in the description. So here, I am going to use files from my folder named demo. So here in the variable.tf file, I have declared these three variables. Access key, secret key, and the region. In the main.tf file, here I have created our AWS resource with access key, secret key, and region. Then I have created this security group.tf file. In this file I have created a security group named web server. And it will allow all incoming HTTP connection. So here we have ingress rule, from port 80, to port 80. Then egress rule from port 0, to port 0. Now here, in the vpc.tf file. I have mentioned that the vpc is going to be default vpc. And now in the instance.tf file. I have created a WS instance named web server. The AMI it is going to be this. Instance type is T2 micro. And then in the user data. It is going to install HTTPD first. Then it will add HTML page with this text. Now finally in the alb.tf file. Here first I have created target group named wiz.tg. Port will be 80. Protocol will be HTTP. Target type is again instance. In the health check, interval will be 10. Timeout and healthy threshold, both will be 5. Healthy threshold will be 2. Then I have created a load balancer with name Wiz Alp. IP address type is going to be IP versus 4. Load balancer type is going to be application load balancer. Then here I have created a listener. So in the load balancer listener, port will be 80 and protocol will be HTTP. Then here I have attach our target group to our application load balancer. So here I have specify the target group ARN. And then the target ID, that is IDs of the created EC2 instances. And in the end I have created an output.tf file. It will display DNS name of the created load balancer once the resources are created. So now let's apply this code. Now first, you have to initialize this using Terraform in it. But as I have already done with it, now I am going to run Terraform plan. As you can see, it will be going to add 8 resources. So now let's do Terraform apply. Yes, apply is now complete. 8 resources are successfully added. Here you can see the output, DNS name. Let's copy this and passed it here. Here you can see the content of the HTML page and incoming traffic distribution between the two instances. So guys, this is how we can create an application load balancer to distribute the incoming traffic between two EC2 instances using Terraform. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.